So can you live day to day with a truly short range EV? Today we're gonna find out. This is a 2014 Smart Electric Drive. It is rated at 64 miles of range and um, it is uh, one of the shortest range EVs ever sold. I think the only one with a shorter range, If I correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section below, but the Mitsubishi MIEV I think is the only uh, EV with a shorter uh, estimated range. Also the only EV uglier than this one. <laughs> So anyway, 64 uh, miles of, of rated range. This car currently has just shy of, of uh, 40,000 miles on it. So we're going to go ahead and do some driving and see what it does. I'm not going to drive it all the way down to zero, but I charged it up not quite to 90 or not quite to 100%. It's at like 98%. And I've got a bunch of errands to do, maybe 35, 40, 45 miles, something like that of errands to do. So I'm going to go ahead and run all my errands for the day and see where we end up. All right. So you can see 100% state of charge. It's actually not quite at 100%. It's about 98%. The charger had just tapered off of 14.4 amps down to 13 and a half amps. So it was still trickling in the last one or 2%. Um, but um, so I'm going to go here to the dash and reset my little uh, little trip odometer there to zero. You'll notice it says I'm at 57 miles uh, until the car is out of charge. Uh, the car's rated at 64 miles uh, on a charge. Again, I'm actually not at quite 100%. It's a little below that. But also that mileage estimator, it goes up and down. I mean, it, it, it looks at the last person to drive the car and their driving habits, the battery temperature. It looks at a bunch of things. Uh, my, uh, my adult son had this car last, and I think he uh, must have driven it hard. But um, we'll, see, uh, we'll see where we, uh, how much uh, range we get out of it. Uh, the car is, you can see, just shy of thirty-three or thirty-four thousand miles on it. Thirty-three nine sixty-seven currently, so we'll be over thirty-four thousand miles today. Just curious, what kind of range I can actually expect to get out of this car? Uh, I, we bought it from my daughter in October. Now she mentioned that in the summer, if you charge it all the way up to hundred percent, that uh, she said she could get easily eighty miles out of it without even trying hard. She said, I bet you could get 100 out of it if you hypermiled it. Well, I'm not hypermiling it today. Uh, in fact, I didn't even charge it quite all the way up. Uh, the charger had just started tapering uh, in current, and uh, but I had an opportunity. I didn't want to wait to get it all the way up to that last bit of 100% charge. I have a window of opportunity today. I only have so much time to shoot this video. So uh, I charged it up. It was probably 98% or so and reset the trip odometer and uh, I, I have several errands that I need to run. So I figured, you know what? Uh, this car's been sitting for a while. We've had a lot of rain, so the rotors have a bit of rust on them. And it's a good idea to cycle the battery a little bit. So I figured I would go ahead and take this car out to run my errands and shoot a video. So to that end, uh, let's see what kind of range we can get. Now I started with um, what showed as 57 miles of range. Uh, which I explain in the other part of the video, but that um, that is sort of a guess, and it's based on a lot of different things. Previous driving habits, obviously battery state of charge, uh, battery temperature, and that, and that expected range to zero fluctuates quite a bit. Uh, so, um, but it showed as expected 57 miles of range for this charge. I know it'll be far more than that. And um, I've already gone two miles, and uh, the range over two miles, the range shows 56 miles uh, of range left. So, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, drive it for a while and see what we can get out of it. All right, well, guys, as you can see, I've gone 20%. And if you look at my uh, at my dash here, uh, that shows it's 15.3 miles. So that would mean about a 75 mile range with the uh, type of driving I've been doing. However, I'm now going to be on the highway for a little bit. So you can see here that um, I've gone uh, 15 miles expected remaining is 42. So that would be a 57 mile range. Uh, so 
uh, just according to those numbers. But again, you can see I've I've gone I've only used 20 percent and I've gone 15.3 uh, miles. So we'll keep going and see where we arrive at. All right, we're all done with our uh, our trips, and you can see here that I am uh, just over 30 percent, call it 31 or 32 percent state of charge remaining, and I have driven 42.3 miles. Now it says that the expected range is 21 miles left, but if you remember when I initially left, it said it was 57 miles of range that I could expect, and according to this, it is uh, 63. So that 21 miles is probably more like 23 or so miles left. So uh, definitely uh, better than the uh, 64 miles of rated range. Here's my take on this. Can you use a short range EV for your day-to-day -day driving? Absolutely. In fact, even if you only charge this thing to 80 or 90%, you're still going to get 40 plus, maybe 50 miles of driving, which is more than you need for a day. Uh, that is very true. Also, short-range EVs like this are very inexpensive on the used car market. So there's that. Uh, I will say this, however. Short-range EVs like this do definitely give you at least a little bit of anxiety. Uh, one of my errands happened to be 16 miles away from home. And I left. I went four and a half miles and realized I forgot something. Had to turn around and go back home. So then I was at home having driven nine miles on my charge, knowing I had to go 16 miles out and 16 miles back, along with a couple other quick little stops along the way. And I, I did start, I don't want to say stressing, but I did think about it a bit. And I thought, wow, I, you know, I'm going to get home with a pretty low state of charge. So uh, when, you, when you're driving a short range EV like this, range anxiety is definitely a thing. It really is. Uh, I will say, however, that uh, this car, I mean, I, I just want to get out of the car. I've been in it long enough. You know, a short-range EV like this is generally not a comfortable car. It's it's a grocery getter. It was meant to run a few errands to get you from point A to point B and do so inexpensively, and that's where these cars shine. So uh, definitely thrilled with this car. Uh, absolutely can't say enough good about it, but it is a short-range EV. No one's going to be doing any traveling in this thing. Uh, but if you're looking for uh, a short range, if you're looking for a car to to do your local errands with, you want to get an electric car. You don't drive more than you know 50, 60 miles in a day, and the average person drives 37 to 39 miles a day, I believe, is the average here in the states. Then you might want to consider a used short range EV like this. We paid five thousand dollars for this car, and it's almost free to operate. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And as always, stay charged. Thanks, guys. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye now.